What's up you guys, After Cherry Axe here and today I'm going to be reacting to some of the Charmed reboot. This is Season 4, Episode 6. Uh, before I go into this one, I just want to say that I think last week was probably my favourite episode of the series. Um, kind of weird how much I liked it. Especially since it was like a period piece and I don't like period pieces. So, yeah. Fun. Um, let's go over the comments. <clears throat> uh, with the have we met line in episode 2 and them meeting in the past in episode 5 really feels like they plan this season out and they're not just writing as they go. Absolutely. 100% I agree. They've like definitely planned out the season and I really appreciate that because previous seasons it has not felt like that. So I'm happy about that. Um, yeah, I like the thought out storyline they went with this ep. I'm really loving this season so far, and I gotta say, I'm digging this Mel and Ruby friendship they're forming. Yeah, I like that they're like deconstructing their relationship and building it back up, I suppose. Uh, I do believe that they're setting up Mel with Roxy, I think her name is. Um, gee, Mel likes women that begin with R. <laughs> Ruby, Roxy, um, whether or not they do that justice, we'll see. I really hope they do because, oh my god, like, this show has had one of the lead sisters be a lesbian throughout the whole show and, like, she's not really been given great treatment and she deserves good treatment, I'm just saying. And you know what? I'm starting to have faith that maybe they will. They'll, they'll give good treatment. Maybe. Man, I can't believe that I've turned so far around on this show. It's, it's so bizarre. Uh, why don't you like episodes like this? I thought you liked time travel episodes. I always think they're fun. Okay, so no, it's not that I didn't like the episode. I, I liked, I love the episode actually. Um, the problem is that I don't like period piece television. Uh, one off episodes, I get, like it makes sense. Um, I just don't really like, you know, the 20s, can't really relate, I wasn't born then, <laughs> like, I don't know, I don't, I don't see the, the appeal of stuff like that, but, again, I still think it was the best episode that they've have, had of the show. Um, and that's coming from me. For all the shit I've given this show, I'm gonna give credit where credit is due. And people think that I just hate the show because... You know, I, I liked the original, like, the, a lot of people's reasoning is like, oh, you don't like the show because you're biased towards the original series. No. I'm genuinely liking the show right now. I'd argue that this might be, like, last week's episode might be one of the better episodes in the franchise. So, like, last week's episode is better than... I don't know, all of season 7 of the original Charmed? I'm just saying. Anyways, um, I mean, I have to admit the red clock kind of looked like a stargate with the ramp underneath it. So you're not completely crazy. Close though. Uh, awkward. You're shaming the guy for his feet, saying it'd be weird if he brought home a girl or a guy. Yeah, it turns out the dude already has a girlfriend or, or wife, I don't know. I mean, I get it. Having feet with mushrooms sticking out of them would be a major deal breaker. Salutes, major deal breaker. Uh, but apparently some have lower standards than us, and who knows? Maybe this is where she got her magic shroom stash. Maybe. Is this where, you know, the magical shrooms come from in, in the universe? I don't know. Do they have magic shrooms? I don't know. Um... Oh, okay, she left because she was stuck, because he was stuck on the couch watching the previous episodes on weird stone looking device. I mean, fair. Um, I, she probably didn't like the previous seasons either and couldn't get over the fact he was obsessed with the show. No. He was just a conspiracy theorist and got really wrapped up in it. Um... 
I only use one side of the knife when putting stuff on a sandwich, yeah. I do clean both sides after using the knife every time, though. Uh, people who use both sides are fucking psychos. Yeah, it's, it is weird. I don't, I, don't, I don't know why, yeah. I mean, you obviously clean the whole thing, but it's a lot easier to clean if you've only dirtied one side. Just saying. Uh... Hey Mags, ever heard of knocking? You hear an electric toothbrush and your ass thinks let's just walk right in. Yeah, I, I, I think, honestly I would hear the vibrations and, and be like, oh, they're brushing their teeth. And then I'd be like, but what if they're not? Maybe I'll wait. <laughs> um... No, period episode. Why? And I have to watch this twice because technically I, I have to edit this shit. Kill me now. Edit now. I'm still alive, but that edit is got done quick. So the bartender was uh, with blah 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 blah. Hmm. <laughs> uh, so the bartender was not the haircut I sort of mentioned not caring for in voice before. It was Kayla's hairdo. Those buns on top of her head looks weird. Bartender's hair looks alright, I guess. I liked her hair so much. Okay. Uh, the song that Mags and Kayla sung, they're going to have to deal with Team Flush if they fuck up the timeline. They got stuck in 1926 or some shit. While well, I looked it up, Lady Marmalade wasn't created until 1974. Really? I thought it was... I thought the original song was was by Christina Aguilera and no, I don't know. <laughs> um, look, in season is season four better than two and three? Yeah, sure. Am I s looking forward to the next episode? No, I feel very indifferent about the show. I'll watch it. I'll edit it. But if it gets cancelled, I'll be like, meh. Probably deserved it. <laughs> hey, that's my line. All right. Um, let's get into it.
Alrighty, well that was Charm Season 4, Episode 6. Um, so we dealt with the tally man in this episode, and he's not actually the big bad. He was, there was someone behind the big bad, and it seems like it was... The bartender. I don't know what her name was. I forgot what her name was. Um, yeah. Decent episode. Um, I like the, like, I'm gonna call it sisterly moments, even though... One of them isn't a sister, but I liked that that the we're spending more time on their relationship. I love that. Um, I think maybe it might be too early for Kayla to have a love interest. I don't know. Maybe I'm still just a little bitter about like how much attention's been dealt to Mel and her relationships that are non-existent. So I would prefer that they spent a little bit more time on that. Um. Especially since Kayla's just been introduced. Does she really need a love interest immediately? I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah, decent. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.